Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. OpenAI just wrapped up its first ever developer conference, DevDay, where they announced many huge updates. From new models to a marketplace for AI apps, there is a lot to break down. Stick around as I walk through all the major announcements and what they mean for the future of AI. This is going to be big. First up, OpenAI revealed that ChatGPT now has 100 million weekly active users. That is massive growth, especially when you consider that ChatGPT was only released publicly in November of last year. It just goes to show how eager people are for this technology and the major impact it is already having. Now onto the new stuff. The biggest announcement was OpenAI's launch of a marketplace they call the GPT Store. This will allow developers to build custom AI applications using OpenAI's models and then sell them in the store. Users will be able to browse different bots made for specific uses from coding to data analysis and more. Creators will get paid based on the usage of their apps. This is huge because it allows people to monetize AI applications and could lead to an explosion of new use cases. The GPT store opens up later this month. Next, OpenAI revealed the latest iteration of their generative language model, GPT-4 Turbo. This includes updated knowledge of world events up until April 2023, allowing it to discuss and understand references to very recent news culture and history. Turbo can also take much longer prompts than previous versions, up to a whopping 128,000 tokens. To put that in perspective, the original GPT-3 capped out around 2,000 tokens. This increased prompt length allows users to provide significantly more context, complexity and nuance to their queries. You can have intricate, multifaceted conversations without hitting prompt limits. Longer prompts empower more natural human-like exchanges. The additional information helps GPT-4 Turbo pass what is being asked and provide relevant high-fidelity responses. It enables truly back-and-forth dialogue versus just single-turn Q&A. Early testers have been stunned by how the lengthy prompts elevate coherence and reasoning. It feels like an enormous leap forward in capability. GPT-4 Turbo also incorporates key learnings from Instruct GPT, a separate model trained specifically to follow instructions and multi-step reasoning. This allows GPT-4 Turbo to stay on task and respond helpfully right out of the box without needing extensive fine-tuning. Together, the knowledge updates, increased prompt length, and instruction training make GPT-4 Turbo substantially more powerful and usable than its predecessors. Excitingly, standard chat GPT is also getting upgraded with GPT-4 Turbo in the coming weeks users will notice improvements in knowledge, reasoning and instruction. Additionally, this new chat GPT won't include that pesky model picker prompt that kept popping up inconsistently. It will automatically select the optimal model for each user query behind the scenes. This makes the chat experience smooth and seamless. Perhaps most significantly, GPT-4 Turbo will be up to 3x cheaper for developers compared to previous pricing. This massive cost reduction should greatly accelerate new applications built on top of the model, expanding its reach and utility. More affordable pricing lowers the barrier and allows smaller teams to harness its capabilities. However, with all this new power comes new potential risks. OpenAI announced a new copyright shield to defend customers from legal issues around copyright infringement. Though details remain sparse, this demonstrates that OpenAI is considering how to govern such a powerful technology thoughtfully. We will have to keep a close eye on how their norms and safeguards evolve along with the technology itself. Alright, now let's talk about all the implications. OpenAI is rapidly iterating to stay ahead of competition from Google, Microsoft and others. These constant upgrades show they have no plans to slow down. I think the GPT store could be a hugely important development. This could finally allow monetization of AI apps beyond what OpenAI offers directly and the ability to quickly build custom conversational agents with no code opens up AI to a much wider audience. We could see amazing niche bots tailored to specific topics. The only question is how OpenAI will moderate this new marketplace. With so many different bots being built, some with potentially dangerous uses, governance and oversight will be crucial. I hope OpenAI sets up a rigorous review process and continues being transparent as they make these judgment calls. But overall, DevDay showed that OpenAI's meteoric rise is only just getting started. With consumer excitement through the roof, cheaper access for developers, and a new marketplace to share creations, they are pushing this technology forward at lightning speed. Who knows what updates they will announce at DevDay next year. The rapid pace of progress is truly astonishing. Each leap enables new capabilities and opportunities that seemed unfathomable just years or even months ago. 
We are witnessing a massively consequential technology explode before our eyes. And that's all for today. If you're excited about AI innovations and want to stay updated with the latest trends and insights, subscribe and turn on notifications. Remember, AI is not our enemy, but our ally, ushering us into a future of endless possibilities.